Hey everybody, this is Daryl Eves, and today we're going to talk about YouTube, all the changes that's happening with YouTube, and we're going to really dive in and do some advanced training. And I want to welcome you uh, to this presentation. And if you don't know who I am, um, you know we'll we'll talk about where you can follow me on my my uh, YouTube channel or my website or getting involved with Google Plus. Uh, but today's a really, really interesting thing. Now, one of my passions um, that I that I totally have is I love video. I, I just, I consume it. I love it. I love um, seeing the creative things that can be done. But I really love the platform of YouTube. Um, I've been on YouTube since 2006 and um, haven't really looked back since. Now, I, I the bulk of mine, for the people that don't know who I am and coming on because you subscribed to my channel or whatever, but the bulk of the work that I've done uh, since that time is work for clients and help them to have a presence online. One of the main strategies that I use is video. Video is extremely powerful, and it changes all the time. I mean, the bandwidth's getting better, you know, they were showing some things uh, this weekend on mobile that was just blowing my socks off. It literally was. We're going to talk about that today. Um, but uh, ultimately, I just eat, drink, and sleep video. I love it. I just love it to death. So um, my whole channel, my whole uh, existence on my um, uh, website and so on is with video and marketing tips to help you be more successful. Now, a lot of you might not be uh, marketers. All you want to do is to make sure that your channel can show up and, and you get more subscribers, get more views. Well, today we're going to actually talk about that, how you can get more views and how you can get a way to really increase your income off of it. Because the reality is there's a lot, a lot that you can do. Um, and you'd, you'd be blown away. You'd definitely be blown away. So let's just get right to it. Um, the last two weekends, I, I get home off my trip, um, and the day that I got home, uh, two hours later, I was on a plane ride to San Francisco, and I met Susie, uh, Susie Ryder, at a conference, and she was the, actually the keynote speaker, and then we actually took some time to chat, just the nicest lady, just just a family uh, family person. I just love family people, you know, it's just awesome, and we, we were talking about kids and so on, and we were talking about different things, but... Susie um, did a presentation on video and the way that they're really going after um, display advertising, uh, the pre-roll video and display advertising on Google and, and YouTube. So she's actually the director for all, I'm just looking at her card right now. I know you see the screen here, but uh, she's the director for video and display ad advertising. So um, she's basically the head of all the display and video ads um, for both Google and YouTube. Um, now there's a VP that she reports to, but she actually directs all the stuff that goes on. So she is the person that truly knows the pulse of everything, uh, when it comes to, um, the, the advertising and so on and so forth. Now, a lot of you that have channels and one of the ways that you make money is through views and subscribers and all that other stuff. And she was talking about some really interesting relationships that are starting to come, uh, with the rest of the world. And we're going to talk about that today. And we're going to talk about the opportunity that you have not only to grow your own list and to do your own channel, but do this for other people. And there's a lot of great opportunities. Okay. Now, <laughs> Jiva, he, he is like the guy when it comes to YouTube. Like when you, when you look at, it, he's the director uh, and he's over, you know, product management and so on. So uh, last week I was in LA with him and uh, he gave the uh, one of the keynotes and we, we spent some time afterwards, you know, and I was just asking him some very technical questions since he's the, the guy over product project management. So he basically all the all the projects that are going on in YouTube. This is the guy that has to approve it. This is the guy that says, OK, you guys do this. You guys do that. And he, he's like the man. And let me tell you, some of the stuff they're doing literally blew me away at the 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 whole process of what they're doing with mobile and with integrated stuff that we're going to talk about. Um, and this integrated search stuff, it's just amazing. And he is, uh, just a brilliant, brilliant man. And we had a great chat. We really did. We had a great conversation. Um, and, uh, 
we had this before he actually came out and he actually saved me a seat on the front row. So I was like front row seat of, you know, this huge location here and uh, was able to see his pre presentation just like five feet in front of him. It was just, it was just great. Now this other guy right here, Rashaba, uh, he is a, an engineer and he literally is the brains with the um, integrating mobile and so on. And he's a manager over that portion of it. Um, and he was showing some things that were just amazing with the new apps that are coming out. Now they were, they were showing it, they were demoing it. Um, and the great thing about it is the thing that annoys me about mobile on, on YouTube is when you go to comment, it kicks you off the video and it goes to that. If you go to um, scroll or do anything, it kicks you off. Well, they showed it that now you don't have to do that. You can actually watch the video and interact. You can actually interact and engage with that YouTube community. And that's huge. And there's some dollar signs all around that. Um, Lucas, as the VP of sales, he's a cell guy, but uh, ultimately he was really nice, gave a really, really good presentation. Um, I, I had a couple things that I wanted to talk to him about. Um, and so we, we sat and chat and everyone I've done, we spent a little bit of time uh, talking and he pointed me out to a lot of YouTube employees I was able to talk to and introduced me to a lot of people that I wanted to, to know some certain things. So he was a, a great contact. Uh, Lucas is very smart when it comes to where everything's rolling and where, where things are going and gave a, a wonderful presentation on that. Uh, just really captivated the whole audience. But ultimately, guys, uh, and there's a whole bunch of other speakers, you know, at the different events and so on. And, you know, you mingle, you stay up late and you talk and all this other stuff. But ultimately, we're going to get back to the industry, okay? The industry uh, for content marketing. This is this is people that actually create content or content providers. Um, it's a forty billion dollar a year business, okay? The industry is like pumping money into this all the time, and the the thing about it, and I have clients right now. Um, I literally, literally have clients right now that when they release a video that they make outside of any video views, any subscribers, they make anywhere between $50,000 to $225,000. More and more people are starting to connect and realize how to engage with people. Now, if you're an offliner and you help local mom and pop shops or attorneys or marketing professionals, whatever it may be, get more views and go through a sales funnel. This is, this is a part of that as well. But ultimately when, when YouTube is coming down to it, they really want everyone that has a website that has a YouTube channel that has a Google account really to create content and to engage with other people. That's what they want. And, um, you know, the amazing thing about it, the amazing, amazing thing um, is that it's expanding at a rate um, far beyond. They're, they're literally the, the industry, these people that pay hundreds of millions of dollars are now realizing that they can actually get more bang for their buck to put it in a different strategy. Okay, not just blanketed across the world where they blanketed across every billboard on every TV station at a certain time, but they can literally target to their audience. They can narrow it down. And do you know what happens when that they're, they're willing to pay a higher premium? And also they're willing to advertise more because why they get more bang for their dollar. I mean, it's huge. Okay. Now, um, here's the, the whole thing. It's going to come down to this. And this is why we're having this conversation. YouTube and Google really want to engage with you. Okay. And they have done a fairly good job. I mean, YouTube's, YouTube's decent um, in... Uh, creating this community. There's a lot of limitations on what you're able to do, but they introduced Google plus. Now let me just take a quick poll. I mean, I'm going to just throw this out because I'm really interested in a couple things. Number one. Um, now hopefully everybody can see the poll. Um, what type of business are you? Are you an offline agency, affiliate marketer, 
you know, uh, lead gen other, you know, tell me, tell me what it is. Now the other, I want you to put, if you are, and I, I, I had this in a different poll here. Um, if you're a content creator on YouTube, put that in there as well. I just want to see what age or what, uh, um, people are on the call today. Cause we, we, we're combining this with a, a couple lists that I have. Okay. We're going to go ahead and give you about 30, well, about 20 more seconds. Um, please, please vote for this. This is very interesting. I want to show you what, uh, what we're going to do. And I'm going to really cater my next few slides to, uh, these couple polls that we're going to take. Okay. 10 more seconds. Okay. So let's go ahead and share these results. You can see that 74% of you are like an offline agency. You do some social, mobile, whatever. 7% is affiliate marketer, 13% is lead generation, 16% is other. I would assume that, you know, you're, you have a, a, you're a content provider uh, and so on. Uh, the crazy thing about this is, and, and I wish I had the right poll here, but uh, all of you are content providers in one way or another, whether it's for somebody else or whether it's for yourself. Now, with the affiliate marketer and lead gen and online agency, you know, there's a lot of you that are probably all three. I know I am. Um, and I want to, I want to gain multiple ways to, to, uh, inter, uh, to raise money. And sometimes it's just not off of the ads. Okay. So, um, this next one is a question and this is just for you personally. I need to know if this is for you personally, but do you have your own personal YouTube channel? Um, I'm really, really interested to know this because there's a lot of things that are going on that is all going to co uh, correspond together. And r realistically, um, you're going to have a aha moment during this training. And I need to see um, those that don't have a YouTube channel um, and those that do, if you come to the same conclusion at the end of the um, presentation. Okay. Uh, let me give you 10 more seconds. Okay. So we have 67 of you actually do have your own personal YouTube channel. 33% of you don't. Okay. Very, very good. Um, and it's, it was actually a lot higher than I thought. I thought it would be closer to, uh, you know, and we almost had, um, all of you actually vote on this one. Um, but I thought it'd be a lot, lot lower than that with your own personal YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, let me hide those results. Now there's one last question um, that I need to ask right now is how often do you use Google plus? Now, keep in mind, if you don't have a Google plus account, um, uh, this, is, this is very, very interesting. And now this, this one, I would really like everyone. Um, if you are, are not just doing audio that you're doing it to, to, to do this one, because this one right here is the bulk of some of the training that we're going to do is how Google plus is integrated back with YouTube and some of the really cool things that's, uh, that's here. Um, and, um, it's really going to affect, I'm here to tell you, um, I, I want some honest answers here. Uh, we're going to give it uh, 20 more seconds here, but it's really going to affect the way that we see results. Um, it's going to, it's going to really change a lot. And I'm going to show you what, what's happening right now. And now keep in mind, I'm one of those fanatical guys that I, I, I split test and try different things just to understand the algorithm of YouTube and Google. And this, this stuff scares me right here. And I'll, I'll, I'll explain it to you here. One second. Okay. All right. So we're going to share results. We have 20. 2% of you never, ever use Google plus. Okay. We have 34% once in a blue moon, we have 14% at least once a month. And then we have, um, 20% weekly and 10% every day. So to calculate that up, I mean, we, we basically have 56% never or once in a blue moon. I mean, that's, that's more than half that's there. Okay. Now the, uh, interesting thing is the new metrics that's going to be happening across both YouTube and Google. And we're actually going to be doing this. And so, um, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, uh, say this comment cause Boyd, you cracked me up. Boyd's like, 
Ha ha, I'm making my own Google Plus account as we speak. <laughs> okay, very good, boys. You will, I guarantee you, you, you will. It's, it's, it's happening right now, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and move on. Now, the whole reason why they did Google Plus, um, you're like saying, oh, you know what? They're, they're trying to be another Facebook. Well, they were trying to figure out what they were going to be for the longest time, but I'm here to tell you right now they figured it out and they're going to move forward full steam. And this full steam, either you're going to be left behind and uh, try to catch up or you're going to be ahead of the curve. You're going to ride that wave as it's going on it. Okay. Now, Google Plus is an interesting platform and it was a really shady until about June of this year of just how it actually works, but they did a huge update. Okay. And it's really integrating with, with YouTube and, and stay on guys. This is something that you want to see. Cause I'm going to show you stuff that I guarantee you 99% of you haven't seen uh, live because there's only a few of us that have access to this beta. Okay. Now, um, there's a, a couple videos I'm getting ready to put out how to add multiple users to manage your YouTube account and channel. This is a thing that would drive me nuts. Now, keeping in mind, I, I do YouTube marketing and video strategies for clients. And I'll tell you what, I literally had all these different accounts. Okay. And I managed so many different accounts. Well, right now I'm just getting related to do, or doing a video that's related to this of how you can actually manage Oh, sorry. Thanks, Clark, for telling me that the poll is still on. How you can actually manage the YouTube channel and not have to give away your, your uh, you know, login information to everyone that has that. You can actually have multiple managers that can do certain things. And they're really pushing it. They're really, really pushing it to, to do this. Now, keep in mind, um, you might say, do you know what? Well, maybe you can have multiple accounts. I literally personally have like 48. I mean, I have a lot. Okay. And I, I know how it, it is to manage all that stuff. So I, I, I want you to understand now they're, they're making it. So it's so easy. All you got to do is tie your YouTube channel with a Google plus page and you can have 50 managers work on it. You can have 50 different people. You can have certain people have certain access to do certain things. Okay. Now, um, the, the great thing about it, um, is what James asked about James, Michael, James says, Hey, will we, will we be smart or not to make multiple Google plus accounts? Well, look at this. My next video is to teach you how to create multiple YouTube channels with one Google account. You don't need multiple Google profiles anymore. Um, I literally have, uh, have shut down all my other stuff and have, I've put it on two accounts. Now I have one account that I have for my own personal testing stuff and my own personal specific channel. And the rest is for all my clients. And, you know, it is super, super great. Now, Tony uh, Kart's asking, says, Daryl, what if you run different businesses? That's the beautiful thing is you can separate it out. You can tie all your businesses to a Google plus profile and a, a Google listing or a Google page. Okay. And you can tie that YouTube account now. And you can grant access to people. So these videos are coming out, um, and and one's really funny. I'm here to tell you that uh, I I when I was doing it, I just had one of those crazy days where you you stayed up late at night and everything was funny, you know. And and I, I decided to do this specific video, and yeah, let me tell you, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna it, yeah, it's it's crazy. And let's just say that there's wigs and and. Uh, facial hair that's all in it, but it's, it's funny. Okay. So yeah, uh, Tony, you can truly have multiple, uh, uh, different businesses. Um, right now we manage a lot of businesses for different clients and our own personal stuff, but we're only using two accounts. I mean, that's the great thing about it. And, and all my other employees and the people that work with me are only using one account. Um, and we just make them as specific, uh, managers. Okay. Okay. Um, moving on. Okay. Yes. Uh, Phil asks a great question. We're going to get right to it. Would it make sense to have the same Google plus profile connected to different niches? How does it work in the real world? That's what I'm going to get to. Okay. Um, let's move on. And right now you can have a single login for multiple channels. Now here is the thing that I want everyone to understand and know. 
who right now, and I don't have um, this on uh, the poll, but who right now has plus one a video today? Okay, I, just just put yes or no, just Y or N, just really quickly. Okay, no, 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 yes, 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 no, no, no. Okay, so, you know, we got a lot of no's, okay. A lot of no's. No, it's too early. Bill's saying it's too early. Yes, you're right. If Bill, if you're in the Philippines, it's way too early. Um, but yeah, okay. So anyway, um, and Suzanne said, I haven't been awake enough to do this. You guys do this too early. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Okay, you know how I, I get crazy and I do these stupid tests that I try to figure out the algorithm? Well, what am I going to do? Okay, I want to see what videos will actually do with a uh, a share and a thumbs up on Facebook or, uh, you know, a, a Google plus. Now here's the, here's the thing I want to know right now, how many of you, at least today shared or uh, gave a thumb up in Facebook on a YouTube video. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. Okay. We're getting a lot more yeses, guys. Oh, wow. Every day, all the time. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that, and that would have been a good poll question, and we could, we could have seen that better. I just didn't do a lot of a great preparation for this, but you can see this. Now, here's the interesting thing. Now, I literally had two, I have two channels that are my ultra test channels. Um, they are identical, 100% identical in channel authority. Um, and, in everything. Okay. So it's almost like a blank slate for both of them. And when I test something, I, I delete it out so that it, nothing can skew the results. I don't want anything to skew the results. I want everything, um, to, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I just, I, I, I'm, I'm crazy, I guess. And Doug's saying, don't use those negative words. You just experiment and learn. Okay. But anyway, I take in two videos on two identical channels. And all I did is one, I asked for plus ones. I asked for five. And on another one, which had a Facebook like and a share and had the, uh, you know, video embedded in, in Facebook. And they're the identical videos. Now, you got to be careful for duplicate content and all this other stuff. And I wasn't keeping it up long enough to, to make that effect. You tell me which one ranked higher in the YouTube search result and also the Google search result. Rick, Rick Romano said, you know, uh, said it right. It, it, the, the plus. Okay. And why is that? It's because it's all going to be integrated. A plus one is an extension of YouTube now. And it has been for a while. Okay. And they're really, really going after it. Now here's the interesting thing. Yes. Google owns search, but now think about this for a second. This is, this is something I want everyone to understand and everyone to know what's the number one search engine out there. Google. What's the number one video service out there. YouTube. Who owns YouTube. Google. What's the number two search engine in the world. YouTube. What's the number one mobile operating system in the world. Android. Are you seeing the picture here? I mean, there is the picture across the board. Okay. They want to, to do something. Now here's, here's the whole thing. And I'm here to tell you, I, I really want you guys to understand this. I don't have any hard feelings with Facebook. Um, I don't particularly enjoy it as much um, as I used to. Um, I hate getting invitations to Farmville and every bill that's out there. In fact, I hate it so much. I made a video on how to delete your Facebook account and I already have like 33,000 views. There's a lot of people that that's there, but now here, here's what's going on. Guaranteed, guaranteed next year, 2014, Facebook's going to introduce a, a competition to YouTube. Okay. They're going to do it. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. It's going to happen. Whether it's late 14, early 15, it's going to happen. Okay. Now, the difference is they bought Instagram and they're going after, you know, a certain demographic, uh, 13 to 25 year olds. It's there. That's it's more about community, social involvement, engagement. Now I want you to understand what Patrick understands right here. 
Thanks, Patrick, for putting this out. Google is trying to make you be more productive in your search. Okay. You're going to do it through video. You're going to do it through local uh, websites or, you know, other types of websites or other content. You're going to do it through your community of friends. You know, the best type of advertising that's always been out there and will always be is word of mouth. The second best I'm here to tell you is virtual word of mouth. Somebody will, you know, check in or hit plus one. Now think about this for one second. I want you to think about this for one second. Now, Facebook's great to communicate with, you know, your family and friends throughout the world. But if you're going down the road on an Android device, think about this for a second. And you say, hey, tell me where the closest restaurant is. That's power because that's where everything's rolling. I love it. It's like Star Trek. Hey, computer, tell me this. Calculate that. That's what it's going to go. And, and less and less will be actually typing in and searching and more and more will be mobile. Okay. They literally want to be everywhere they're at. I mean, I, I went to these conferences with, with super geeks like me. Okay. And they all have their, you know, their, their Google glasses on and, you know, recording everything. I thought it was pretty cool, you know, but it, it's all about, it's all about understanding where things are headed. And I'm right here to tell you right now, I know exactly exactly where Google's headed. I understand what their mentality is. And that's why I can capitalize on it. Cause I'm, I'm seeing a, I've seen it, a trend. I talk to people. I, I understand what they're concerned about, what they're wanting. Yeah. Google, uh, Google uh, plus was a flop. They try to push it off across the board, but didn't you find it interesting? As soon now, you know, you get invitations. Once you have a Google account, if you have a YouTube account and they're not tied, Oh, tie this to your Google account, Google plus account. Oh, tie this to this. And now when you create a Google account, you actually have to create a Google Plus profile. I mean, it's getting really, really interesting, okay? Now, I want you to understand where it's going to be in three to five years. When you want information, you're going to go to Google in one form or another. On the number one search engine, on the number one video platform, okay, you're going to get information, okay? Now, here's the goal. I'm here to tell you. Here's the goal of what Google wants to do. They want to be everywhere where you are on every device. Thus the change in YouTube. They changed the way that everybody was happy with the layout. Well, the layout changed so that they can be everywhere from TV to the handhelds. Okay. And why do they want to do that? They want you finding the content that you want without all the clutter. And they're getting better and better and better figuring out every little thing about you, profiling you to give you what you want. Okay. Now who's uh, just, just really quick. I need you to engage with me real quick. Who finds this very interesting or am I just crazy? I mean, am I just, just up in the night thinking crazy thoughts? Um, yes, I know I'm on this. On the okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm on that. Okay. You know, and some people think I'm probably crazy. That's, that's okay. Craziness. I mean, you know, there's some greatness and craziness. There's been crazy people that have been great. Right. <laughs> but it, I, I hope it makes sense. Okay. Let's switch over real quick um, to the live demo. So hopefully everybody can still see my screen, right? Let me really pull it in. So you understand um, where things are rolling. Okay. Now, it's, it's going down a, a certain path, and there's a certain way that it's, that it's headed down, and you need to be ahead of the curve. I'm here to tell you, you got to be ahead of the curve. If not, you're going to be so far behind, you're going to have a hard time playing catch-up, okay? So really quick, I'm going to send this, um, I'm going to send something to everybody. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, here's the link. It's in the, in the chat real quick. Um, I, I would hope that you have a YouTube account. Some of you didn't, there's like 37, 38% of you didn't. Um, I hope you subscribe. Now here's the reason why you want to subscribe. Um, I I'm coming out with some really kicking training and it's free. Okay. And my specific subscribers that are on my list. Okay. Are going to get new content that people in the regular world is not going to ever see. 
So you literally have to subscribe to me and you have to uh, follow me, okay, uh, on Google Plus. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. It's really interesting. Hopefully, you know, we've had some new subscribers here. I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh just because I, I'm hoping. Don't let me get rid of my calendar. I didn't know my calendar program was open. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, so let me hit refresh. Okay, well, good. We, we kicked it up a little bit. That was a, a big jump. That was uh, 24%, 24 of you. Great, great, great. So here's the interesting thing. Now, you, you, you see the, the new layout, and let me tell you, I test everything. Uh, and those that were on a previous webinar know that I've tested uh, realistically with, with channels that got a lot of views. We're talking hundreds of million views, and I tested it. I tested it with the, the one channel design, and I tested it with the design of the old version, okay? And I would get literally 20% to 40% more traffic and more audience retention, which is very, very important in the audience retention, but ultimately more subscribers. It, it works. I don't care if you hate this. This actually works because why? Do you know more than ha almost half of all videos watched on YouTube is from a mobile device? And the old format just didn't work well on a mobile device. And so there's a lot of, lot of things that's going on. And it is really, really, it is just changing the way that we view things. Okay. Now, this is what I want to, I want to share with you. Just, just a couple pats on my back. I'm not, you know, I, I, I don't need much, but think about this for a second. Jan, uh, January 24th was the day that I launched my channel. Now I I've been on YouTube since 2006. I've been doing stuff for all these different people, getting hundreds of thousands of uh, hundreds of millions of views for my clients, getting, uh, tens of millions of subscribers for them. And I decided, you know what, it's time for me. I really, I really enjoy educating and consulting and I want to just turn it on because I want to speak more, you know, I want to train more. So I turned this on. Since January 24th, I had 15,334 subscribers add to it. Now, keep that in mind. I mean, that, that, that's a, a feat, and I was able to do that. And I, my goal for 2013 was only to do 11,000 uh, because I'm realistic. It, it takes a while to create, uh, create this. My goal in 2000, I'm sorry, 2003, did I say 2011? I'm not saying 2011, 2013. Um, was to do 11,000 subscribers. Now, on my goal for views, I only wanted 2 million views during that time. And that, that's a pretty hefty goal. I have 3.3 .3 million views right now. And it, it's going great. It's going perfectly. But here's the thing. Um, there, there's a lot of you on here. I had a comment come to me in PM. says, Daryl, you know that you only have one video monetized? That you're only making money on one video? And I responded back. I says, yeah, I know I, I have this video monetized. Okay. This is the video I have monetized. And I, I know that. And I have a weird, let me skip this thing. I don't want to, I have a weird little policy that until I have a million views on a video, I'm never going to put uh, AdSense on it, you know, and it has to be a specific type of video because I don't want certain things to happen to me, you know, on, on this. And, um, I actually do other things to, to generate money. Now, here's one thing that I do know. If you are a content creator, your, uh, CPM, your, 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 what you're going to be making from AdSense and other private networks, it's going to always go down. Okay. It's going to go down to a rate that is unsustainable unless they fix it, unless they fix the model unless they take less than 40% of what they actually charge and give you more as a content creator. Um, and it, it is literally, literally um, something that is evolving and it's going to change. I, I guarantee you it'll change this, this coming year and you'll make a little bit more money um, than, than what you would before. But here's the thing. You have to make money outside of this. You have to make money outside of this platform and you need to take them through a thing. I, I make money. I make a, a, a decent living outside of this YouTube channel. Okay, I do. And I, I have a lot of fun. And this channel isn't necessarily to make money on the ads. Okay. What it is, is it to send them through a sales funnel 
and to really pull things in. Okay. And what, what that means is I need to be able to know who's watching my videos and, and attract a certain thing and give them what they're looking for. And maybe it might be paid training. It might be consulting. It might be whatever. Um, and you can, you can uh, negotiate a lot of things. You can do private networks to get more money off of your, your ads that that's playing. I have most, almost all my clients are on one ad network or another um, just because they get a higher percentage and you know, they negotiate higher deals, but still ultimately you're not making a lot of money. I mean, even the, the people that are really killing it, um, they, they have a staff and they have to pay for their staff. So they're really not, you know, they're really not falling there, but anyway, so you're probably thinking, well, what, what does this have to do with anything, Daryl? And it comes back down to some pretty interesting things. Okay. Now this is one that I can guarantee you, um, a lot of people on this call, you know, don't know, don't know about. So YouTube now makes the ability of you seeing your ultra, ultimate ultra fans. Okay. The people that actually subscribe to you. And the cool thing about this, um, you have to have at least 10,000 subscribers to get this functionality and you have to be approved through beta to do it. Okay. So, um, I, I went ahead and did this and you can see, um, my different subscribers and so on. And you can see their, 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 uh, engagement, you know, and, and this, this top one, I mean, he watches every one of my videos comments on all of them. You know, he just, he's, he's great. You know, um, why wouldn't, why, why wouldn't I, and I, hopefully you're on the call. I don't even know who you are, but, uh, silver, super Nova, whatever. Um, why wouldn't I want to communicate more with him? Okay. Why wouldn't I want to, uh, do some shout outs to him or, or like him back or comment on some of his videos, whatever it may be. What, uh, what that is. Oh, <laughs> oh, cool. So that's your, that's your son. Okay, great. So we have somebody on here. It's his son that is commenting. Well, thank you. That's awesome. Um, so what, what they're doing now, this is the ultimate goal of YouTube and Google. They want to create a new generation, not generation X, not generation Y, but generation C. Generation C. That has been a constant theme for the last two years. Every conference that I go to and I sit down with these YouTube and Google employees, they want Generation C, generation community, content creators, you know what? And they're really wanting people to use what they have to communicate, to engage, to, to react, okay? And it really is, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So they're really, really getting into it and, and going above and beyond. So what they're doing now is letting you see and who your, your top influences are, and you can sort it by, you know, subscriber. Uh, so we can do the subscribers here. Um, these are the ones that has the most subscribers and you can sort it, you can sort it down by the, the oldest first, you know, who's, who's there. Hey, Patrick, look at that. You're one of my first subscribers there. Yeah. Very good. Um, you know, and we got Robert and there's a lot of you, you know, Aaron's on the call, we got, Anne. we got a lot of you that are on here and you can see right where they subscribed and you can see, you know, who's the most loyal and who's getting on involved so you can get more done. Now, here's the interesting thing is you can sort by the newest. And so I, I can go on and, and quickly, Hey, thanks bro. Gaming channel. I can quick, you know, send them a, a quick message, you know, and I can say, Hey, Hey, thanks for subscribing. Um, thanks for the sub, you know, and, and I can just send it right out to him. He's attached to Google plus, And that means a lot. I mean, I, I even have people saying, Oh, wow, look, I, I have Daryl following now. And, and that's the whole thing is I can start engaging with my community. This is the ultimate goal. They want to be a community. They want you to interact with your fans. They want to interact with people that are there. So, you know, so I'll go ahead and do this and I'll say, Oh, he's, he's one of my top fans, you know, and now I, I'm following him and uh, he'll follow me back, you know, and we can kind of engage a little bit more. Um, do you see, do you see that this is really cool? I mean, this, this is ultra cool. Okay. And this is the only beginning. I, I, I was talking with some of these engineers of what they're looking to do and they're asking me questions and I know they were pointed questions to see how I'd, I'd act and interact. And I, you just see them smile. They had this little mischievous smile. Like, Oh, we already have that figured out. Like we already, it's, it's going to be introduced here. I mean, that's what I felt. This is in beta. Um, the only people that can actually see this functionality, if you have 10,000 fans, 
Um, and honestly, um, they're doing it. And, and Elaine's saying, you know, it's kind of like a, a LinkedIn fill uh, with video commenting from the ground. Yeah, uh, it, it's really creating a community across the board. Why? Because they want to be Generation C. Okay, so you can do the sort, you can do all that other stuff. We can add different subscribers or whatever from there. Now, this is really cool. Okay, but here's really, really cool stuff. This is the cool stuff right here is I can see all this. Tom, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, bud. You know what? And since you subscribed to me, I'm going to send you a welcome. Tom's on the call. Thanks for the sub, Tom. I will call you later. And I actually will because uh, Tom's a, a, a student of mine. Okay. Very good. Uh, so basically, you can see uh, the recent activities, and, and it really pulls it in a little bit differently with, with Google Plus and so on. You can see how many people's in my circles is attached. I can do a lot of cool things here. Um, you can see what other interests in. This is huge. Now, you guys that are content creators, this is huge. You can start seeing if there's constant channels that people are interested in watching your videos, and you can approach them to do some collaborations. Okay. This tells me about my circle. It tells me, you know, what, you know, 59% of them in the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not seeing New Zealand here. Come on, guys. Um, you know, a female to male ratio. It can tell me the ages, you know, 19 to 25, you know, is 27% and so on. And I, I know where this 19% is. Um, they're, they're the ones that really want to learn how to download videos off of YouTube. And that's okay, because I have stuff uh, planned for them and, and do that as well, okay? Um, and, you know, a lot of people saying, you know what, Daryl, I, I only got a, a few uh, subscribers. So, you know, how, you know, from an acorn, you know, this is a mighty oak grow. I'm proof of that, man. I, I, I started with, I, I'm literally telling you, I had one subscriber you know, at the first of the year, and now I have over 15,000, you know, almost 16,000. You can do this. Now, the whole thing about it is it's really taking off. Uh, it's really going from there. Um, James saying, hey, do you know what? They're discriminating from the 60-year-olds. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I think they are, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see if that's a, a setting. Sorry, James. Um, but, you know, ultimately, it's really integrating with some really, really cool stuff. Um. Yeah. Now, you want to see where it gets really, really cool. You want to know where I, I'm super excited where it's going? Is this is where I'm, I'm, I'm the most excited. Forever, I have posted my own private content on Vimeo. I love Vimeo. Vimeo is a great service. It kills. Um, I love it. I'm never going to do that outside of, you know, some product creation stuff that I do um, ever again, starting with this video. Literally, this video will not be uploaded to Vimeo. With all my other advanced trainings and everything else is up to Vimeo because I can really, I could really tie it down of what people can see, what they can access and, you know, what they can do from there. Okay. Now I've completely changed it and I, I'm going to literally do something. Um, I'm going to literally do something and I'm going to change this so that I actually communicate with the people that are in my Google Plus circle, okay? And in the different communities that are there. I can literally now upload a private video to a circle, which you could before. You could do it before. Um, it didn't work very well. There were some bugs and different things like that. But I can now upload a private video to everyone that's in a specific circle anyone that's in a specific community and only they can see it. It only shows up on their thing. So now instead of me sending you an email saying, Hey, check out the video, you know, I'm going to not only do that, I'm going to say it's in that area and send them to that place with that they're already a part of, but I'm also going to be there. Now here's the interesting thing. YouTube loves audience retention and they want to know how long people watch videos. So this training will probably be about an hour and some change, you know, and people are going to watch it from starting to finish. That's going to be huge for my ranking. And I don't want everybody in the world to see it. I only want a certain group of people to see it because I don't want to put this information out there for people that are not following me and are not a part of the group because I don't want to give them the information. I want only the information to go to the people that are following me. Okay. My fans, this gives you that ability to do it. Now, here's the great thing about it. Um, 
you you have multiple multiple ways to uh, to interact with them now. <laughs> this is so cool. I, I I mean, I'm literally. It's like you know when you go to you you sever, celebrate a holiday, whether it's Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is, you know, and you get excited the night of. I am so excited. It's just I, I I'm I'm just radiating excitement right now because now I can upload a private video and I can have a paid per click, paid per view. I can literally now turn it on where I say, oh, by the way, for you to watch that video, it's going to cost you money to do it. Now you might say that's no big deal. You know, that's great. Well, we can do all this other stuff, but it, it gives that another model that I can actually make money. It's another model. I can say, do you know what? I have some very valuable content and I can control who watches it. And not everyone can share that. You can't share it and you can't, you know, pull it off. There's a lot of great, cool things. And it's, you know, it's, it's wonderful. So um, what does that mean for, for that? Um, and a lot of people says, Daryl, why, why don't you do this from, from Google Hangout on Airs? Here's the interesting thing is Google Hangout on Airs has a lot of problems. Um, it's great, but you know, the quality, I, I do, I do Google Hangouts almost every day, almost literally every day. And there's always a problem for people getting on the right hangout and doing it. And yet you can, you can record it and you can still upload it privately to your video or it can live stream it to it, all this other stuff. But now they give you the ability to do a lot more. I mean, a lot more. Now I literally can, I can go down here. I can live stream my events now and a live stream is completely different. It's completely different than Google Hangouts. And they just changed this. Now, anyone with a thousand subscribers can live stream. The quality is better. You can get higher resolution. And the great thing about it is I can take all the little buggy things that I didn't like about uh, Google Hangout on Air and I can do them in, in uh, uh, you know, live events. So I can literally have a live event that, uh, okay, Rebecca's saying that uh, uh, my sound is going wonky. Is everybody... Um, is everybody hearing me? Sounds fine. Sounds fine. Rebecca, it might just be on your part. I, I you know, it seems like everybody else. Um, somebody said they just learned that it can be at a hundred subs, Clark. Um, they just announced it at this conference that they opened it up to a thousand. So unless they did another retraction from it, um, I'd love you to test it out. If you have a hundred subscribers, I'd love to know if you're able to do that. But uh, as far as I know, it's a, a thousand and it, it could be, uh, you know, like I said, things change all the time. They might just say, you know what? Uh, it could be different, but this gives you the ability to do this. And I can actually now create an event that I charge 20 bucks for and give some really unique content. And it will go out to the people that actually pay for it and are actually a part of what I want them to see. So, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of power behind this. Okay. Now I, I want to show you another thing. I am introducing a community as of right now. And there are some of you right now that have bought a product from me and are a part of another community and I'll interact with you uh, privately if you're a member um, and go from there. But this is a community I'm gonna open up to everyone. Uh, this is gonna be a, an open free community. You can get involved. Um, and this, this is where this video and also in that private area that um, for, for my members, it's gonna be there as well, but it's gonna be in this community. And so you guys can join. And here's the great thing about it is I want to find people that that really get involved and really understand video. I'm going to make you guys moderators. Um, I want you to kind of track this. And, there, and I have different sections here. This is one thing I love about uh, Google Communities versus Facebook. I can say, oh, I want to figure out all the discussions that are going on. And, and of course, I don't have much in here because we just created it, right? Uh, this is called the YouTube Underground. Um, you can talk about member introductions or questions or observations, and you can quickly sort and and everything's done the way that it's done it's actually done through some tagging and um you know you can tag it and you can see all the posts that are just video promotions and you can help people out by giving them views and so on and so forth so uh wow we already have nine members and uh it's really really cool uh, just jump on make sure you, you be a part of this this is free i'm going to be putting this uh, replay right in here. This is the only people that will have access to this replay are people in this group. Now you might say, wait a minute, you know, I don't even have a, a Google account. Get a Google plus profile. You're going to need it. It's going to help you across the board. Uh, because once you become an authority, um, things change dramatically. Okay. Dramatically on 
everything across the board. And I'm going to tell you two things. I want you to keep and hold onto this call for the last remaining moments, because I'm going to show you a couple things that's going to just literally have you rethink um, about Google Plus and getting involved. Okay. And it's something that I've tested out for the last eight months. And I'm 100% I'm positive of where things are rolling with it just based off of the um, stuff. So let me hit refresh here. looks like we have, yeah, 46. So yeah, great, great, great job, guys. Keep on coming on. Um, now, here's the interesting thing about this is I can embed a video. Check this out. If it's tied to your Google Plus page, you can uh, put any video. You can actually search YouTube right here. I can actually search for the URL or enter the URL. I can search my own videos here. Um, so here's the, here's the one that's actually coming out. It's not released yet. Um, let me give you just like a little sneak pre preview. Um, wonderful. Oh, I can't do that. That's right. Cause I don't have that yet. Okay. It's, it's private. So, uh, but anyway, um, so anyway, you, you can go and get your, your video that you're looking to put in there. Right. And let's do, I think Chris is on the call. Let's just go ahead and throw this in there. Chris, this is just only a sample. Sorry. Um, so you can just throw that in there. And what I want to do now is say, okay, this is a specific thing. This is what I, I need. This is a, um, other chit chat, or you can say it's video promotions. So it's video promotions and I can say, Hey guys, um, let's see, I need some views. Okay. I can't even type today. Sorry. Likes, shares and plus one. Okay. And, oh, and, and you can just, you know, uh, let's see, just do Google plus. Okay. Plus. Okay. And then you can also tie it in so that it goes to Chris. So he's notified and I can also tag it with a different tag. So if I want to just put uh, a different tag as testimonials. Now, the cool thing about it is once I share this, this is, this is really cool. This is, uh, it shows up in the, all the posts, but if I only want to see video promotions, that's the only video that shows up. It's not cluttered by everything. I hate that in Facebook where you're trying to see a post or trying to find a post and you can't find it very well. Well, by tagging it and putting it in a specific area, like a specific area, you can say, okay, I get a plus one here. I, I can comment. So this is good for uh, video ranking and so on. I can also um, look at all the testimonials and it'll pull up all the testimonials that are here. Check this out. And I, I can search through that. I can say, Oh, let's, let's find them here. Let's find them there. It's going to be a, a way to search, you know, and I can search through just video promotions, all the video promotions, or I can change what it is really, really cool guys. It, it, it is super cool. Um, all around the board. Okay. Now here's the great thing. Now this, this is the YouTube underground and what, what the purpose is and those that uh, coach with me, they, they know this in another group, but we want likes, we want shares, we want subscribers, we want comments. Why? Cause that's user engagement and user engagement helps us get bit better video ranking. Okay. And it, it really, it really comes to a, um, it comes to a different perspective now than ever before, because these plus ones, these comments right here are tied all together. Okay. They're tied to YouTube. They're tied to Google. They're tied to search because now, and, and I, and I would show you is I can actually type in like a, a key term and this will come up in the search results, like in, in 15 seconds, like people will see this in your YouTube search results. They'll see it. Not, I'm sorry, not in your YouTube search results, but in your Google results. Um, it'll be in your stream. It'll be on your page. It'll be in multiple locations. It's really, really cool of what's going on. Okay. A lot of cool coolness is happening here. Okay. And we can really help each other out and get a lot more views. Um, thanks, Josh. This is powerful. I'm plus in it, you know, and the great thing about it, let's say I'm like, Josh, man, Josh is cool. I want to put them on my top fans. Now I'm in a, in a specific area. And anytime I want to communicate with my top fans, I can send a video just out for them. And Josh is going to see that it's going to see it in the stream. Okay. Um, some great, great stuff that's going on guys. And you don't want to be left behind. You literally don't want to left behind because you might say, Daryl, you know, I can see the writing on the wall with search and so on, 
but I want to, I want to show you one video. Okay. And keep in mind, I, I usually track everything on some test accounts, but I wanted, I wanted to try something. Okay. I really wanted to try something and I, I want to show you a couple things. That's uh, this one right here. Okay. So we, we searched for that one real quick and you can see I'm, I'm ranking right here. Uh, it's brand new, three days old, all this other stuff. Now here's the interesting thing behind it. Um, if you go and uh, type in this right here, you can see I'm, I'm showing up in third place in Google. Now, keep in mind, guys, I get a lot of great, great um, traffic from Google and other places, okay? Now, I'm logged in, though, okay? And being logged in is one thing. Um, not being logged in um, it, it is a difference. So let's go ahead and go to Chrome Incognito, and we search for it. I'm still the number three spot, okay? Now, I literally showed up right here, 30 se it was like 37 seconds after I uploaded it um, in this spot right here. And I didn't do any promotion. I didn't do anything else like that. And you're wondering, well, how did that happen? I'm becoming an authority when it comes to this types of videos. And I'm going to actually get higher views and rankings than anybody else that's posting video from it. And I'm going to do it in Google because I'm integrating more with their system. So... Um, people are asking, what about niches? What about everything from there? Um, you definitely, 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 to have enough definitely there, um, you really want to define what you're going after, what you're doing, okay? Um, the niche. You can have multiple niches, but what you need to do is you have to tie them to a specific Google Plus page. You have to tie them to a specific Google Plus page. Ba uh, uh, business page or whatever. Okay. And, and you can tie it in and you can have as many niches as you want. You can have 50 niches. You can have a hundred niches as long as it's tied into Google plus now, not your own personal page, but a, um, a, a, a business page. So let me just show you real quick. So right here, I have a test account. Okay. And this test account has its own profile and its own different things like that. I can do whatever I want with this thing. This is, this is not a person. This is a test. This is a business. You know, I can have links to tests and all that other stuff. And this actually ties to, um, a Google, uh, channel, which I'm logged in, uh, differently. So let me just show you how quickly, quickly it is to, to change the channel on this. Let me just go to YouTube and I just come right here and I can just switch accounts and I can just check switch the channel and you can see that it switches my channel now and you can literally now have all these different different um, niches you're not tied to a specific thing you can have multiple themes that you're tied to uh, and it and it and it cranks i mean it's just super 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 cool okay and we're going to get to questions I, you guys there's a lot of questions that's coming um but right now what i want you to do is make sure that you have a google plus account and that you're tied to this YouTube underground. Um, it, there's a lot of great things that's gonna happen here, okay? Now, um, thirdly, let me just uh, open this up. I want you to make sure that you're, you're uh, also, and I'll follow you, I'll, I'll click on it, but make sure that um, you put me in your circle, okay? And what that means is that you have different circles going on. So like, let me show you, for example. So I can come to here, I come down to, um, let's go down to people. Okay, so we have people in my circles right here and you can see all the different things that I'm doing and you know the people that I follow and we've got Dane here and Dagmar and all that other stuff. But there's some great, great things that you can do. But ultimately it comes back down to uh, releasing content. So you actually release content and I can say, you know, I want all the people that are in this specific circle to get the specific post, which is really cool because I don't want to clutter up people that don't have businesses or are local, uh, you know, uh, digital agencies with information that they don't need. Because why? They'll unsubscribe. They'll unsubscribe from my email. They'll unsubscribe from my YouTube channel. They'll hate my guts because it's information that they don't want. You know what I'm saying? I want to give people information that they, that they want. And yeah, I, I can appeal to all these different uh, markets, but honestly, I really, 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 
really want to give them information that they're looking for. Why? Because they'll be more engaged. They'll comment more. They'll, they'll um, buy more products if I sell them products. They'll do all this other stuff. Does that, is that making sense? Are you, are you seeing the correlation here? Now, Roger saying, are you tying to the Google or the business page or the YouTube account or the Google Plus account? Okay, I don't understand the connection. Roger, that was the confusion for years. What I'm saying now is you're going to actually have a Google Plus business page if it's a business, okay? It's not going to be tied to a person. So like a person, their YouTube channel is not going to be necessarily the company's YouTube channel. You can have your own private one now and you can convert it over where it's, you know, whatever you want it, however you want it to be. Now, here's the great thing, Roger, is that business page now can have its own YouTube channel. That business page can bring other managers in, 50 managers to be exact, to manage their Google Plus page and their YouTube page. So you can get all these different people com contributing, okay? Huge. So you are you don't have to have a million different Google Plus accounts to have a, di a million different YouTube channels. You can do that now just with adding a new Google uh, Plus business page, okay? Um, and people are saying my sound's fluctuating, but honestly, I am talking loud and then soft, so it's my own problem here. Okay. Um, wow. We got a lot of questions here. Uh, my, my ultimately it comes back down to it. I want to have you guys on this. I want you to start getting, uh, involved with Google plus. If not, you're going to be behind the curve. Cause I want, I want you to truly understand this. Everything is going mobile or everywhere you're going and you want to be where people want to find information. Okay. And where they're going to find information is through Google and Google's properties. It'll be YouTube, uh, Google and, and, uh, Google plus community side. It, it still might be Facebook. It might be let's talk with grandma on Facebook. That's fine. But I'm saying for search for relevant search to go there. Now I, I'm going to, I don't want to share a lot of personal, um, analytics with you. Cause I, there's a lot of people that are trying to do what I'm doing that follow me just to get more information. But I'm here to tell you that the reason why I have so many views and so many subscribers um, is because of a few, few things. Okay. Um, let me, let me go to this real quick. Um, this is, this is an interesting thing. If you don't, never use this, uh, you can go check me out here. Let me, I like this in Social Blade. I was just talking with the owner of Social Blade. He's coming out with some new stuff um, in the next little bit. It's really cool. So anyway, this one is a place that pulls in stats and the stats, they come and go, you know, you can see the hourly subscribers when they're able to do it. Um, you can see my daily subscribers. Now here's the interesting thing, guys. See these dips down here. I turn something off to see how much it affected my subscriber base and I turned it back on. So one day I'd turn it off to see how it do it, turn it on. I, I test everything. I want to see how everything goes, but ultimately um, the statistics are, are interesting and my video views are going through the roof and I get a lot of, of, with my clients and with my own personal. And I'm here to tell you that I do it outside of YouTube. I find strategic locations to put my videos, very strategic to be watched because people have questions. I want to put those, uh, those videos there. And as they watch it, and it answers their question, they're going to, they're going to do it and they're going to go for it. Now, keep in mind, my subscribers would be a lot higher if I was focused 99% of my time on YouTube and do all the YouTube stuff. Well, guess what guys, now I can do that through Google plus. I can do it through search because it's all integrated now. It's all through mobile, you know, and, and a lot of the stuff, a lot of the techniques that I'm doing right now are totally, totally um, changing, you know, and, and, and totally just evolving to where, it, where it's going. And, and I'm, I'm grateful that I'm ahead of the curve. I want to have you guys the head of the curve as well. Okay. Okay. So we have a, a lot of things and I I've gone through a lot. There's a lot of training coming out. Um, there really is. I mean, I always want to see, I love that. I love how just updates and, you know, we can just do this. So you know, I can go to discussions if I want to see discussions, other chit chats, if I want to see other chit chats. 
Okay, guys, I only have a hundred of you. There's a lot more of them on the call than a hundred. Well, I guess we only had. <laughs> I won't complain. Now, everyone on here, um, share it with your friends. Share it with people that, um, you know, that you, your sphere of influence, you know, share with your circles to have me on this. I want this to be like the hub here. I want to be the YouTube underground where we can really do some major um, help with each other and help each other out, you know, and, and go from there. So, okay. I am getting ready to answer questions, but for me to do that, I need to click on this. I am not the biggest fan of go to webinar and I'm going to be switching over um, the bulk of my training. Um, if not all my training, I'm going to try to phase out go to webinar at the end of the year um, and starting uh, the next couple of weeks, I'm going to go switch to YouTube live. Now, the cool thing about YouTube live is if you're part of those communities, you can watch it. If you're not, you're not going to see it. And I want to really get away. I really hate emailing people. Um, I do. I hate email. I hate emailing people, but it's kind of the thing that you have to do to stay connected. And I do apologize, but you got you to gotta admit, I don't email that much. Okay. I mean, I went on, I took July off, basically. You got, what, two emails from me. Okay. You got a couple, a couple emails coming to this. I don't email that much. I don't particularly enjoy it. Um, but I really would like to utilize everything and email a lot less. Okay. To do that, I want to be able to notify people of events that's coming up. Um, and it's so easy if you have a Google account. So definitely follow me, get involved with those different things. Cause I'm going to be using YouTube live. I'm not going to be using Google hangout on airs cause I hate it cause there's a lot of little bugs in it, but YouTube live is slick. Um, and it's still in beta and you have to be approved of 10,000 subscribers to use it but there's some really, really cool things that I can do with it. And so the trainings that I have planned, um, it's going to be amazing. Okay. Um, and I really want to do that. Okay. Um, but to do that, if you want to receive less emails, you know, make sure you follow me on Facebook. So next week I have a huge announcement. Um, it will be a week from today. It's something that I literally have been working on for three years. It's not a product. Okay. Um, it's something that I wanted to do. Uh, for a very, very long time. And it's a, one of those um, out there ideas. Uh, for those that don't know who what I do, um, I, I, I basically am a digital agency and I work with local businesses or individuals to get them more exposure, whether it's through video or whatever. And this announcement deals with that. And it's like I said, it's not a product, but it's something that I've been wanting to do and really give back and give value. Um, and I've bounced it off to my um, coaching students and and my personal masterminds. And I, I'm really excited about it. I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to announce it. So you're going to get a few emails from me. And I do apologize. Um, it, it's uh, something so cool. And David Strait, yes, you're smart. And uh, <laughs> um, Fred, it's not my book. My book comes out in September. And I'll make sure that uh, my followers get a, a great uh, copy of it. It's going to be a, uh, we're going to do it. Uh, it's a legit book. Um, it's one of those that I've spent a lot of time, effort, and my staff has spent a lot of time and effort in. That's not what this huge announcement is, but um, I'm going to make it available um, in September. Um, but this huge announcement is a week from today. So, uh, be looking for the emails. You're going to get a few more emails than 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 me. Uh, but it's not a product, um, but it's something that I'm super, super excited about. Um, why? Because I know this will change people's lives. And I, I, you got to literally, I've been doing this since 1999. I've been going to conferences. I've been going around the world and meeting with people. And I see the exact same thing everywhere I go. And I'm like, how can I fix that? How can I work with that? And I feel like I've found a way. So it's gonna be awesome. Um, okay. Let's uh, go through questions here. I know that there's a, a ton of questions. I know that everything's going. I'm going to uh, put my headset on. Um, if you have, if you have uh, audio, I'd prefer to talk to you. I hate just reading uh, texts and such. So I'd prefer to talk to you. Um, would you please, uh, if you have a question, say, um, put um, an A, A dash, then your question. Um, and then it says that you have audio and I'll, 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 uh, 
unmute you and we can have a nice chat. So, and a lot of you have to go, okay, David's going to come on. I like, I like David here. I like all of you. Come on. But David has a, all right, my friend, hopefully I can hear you. Can you hear me, Dave? Yep. All right. Kate, why don't you ask your question, my friend? Uh, don't let the cat the out of the bag. You, 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 you guessed it. So don't, yeah, no, don't I understand. <laughs> um, so, um, thanks again for the training. I, I unfortunately screwed up and got the times wrong. So I look forward to the recording, but my question is, um, I started a new to a new video and, um, you mentioned to me, uh, well, I get one question is the video fell off page one. You said, go get high page rate backlinks and retweet and I can I can get a fiver gig for retweeting but um, I guess with all these Google animals pandas and penguins and look venices and this is and that you gotta be very I'm careful. afraid about trying to get by backlinks um, so do you have any advice for that um, you know let me let me let me tell you that the strategy and and I didn't do a very good job it was one of those posts that it was like I don't know. I, I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. I've been, <laughs> I really haven't. I probably had three hours of sleep last night. Total last couple of weeks is maybe 10. Um, I don't know. But anyway, so in my mind, I think I say something right on the post, but I didn't explain it very well. There's a way to get some high page. If you can get the, your video embedded in certain key areas, that, that counts um, very drastically. Okay. So if you can embed your video, find places where it would attract content. Now, here's the interesting thing. If it's if it's dealing with physical therapists or dealing with whatever niche you're going after, if you can find a place to embed that, that's really powerful. And if it can show up on the first page, if it can come through a stream, um, do, you, do you know what I mean by that? It, it, it's like streaming some stuff. Um, then that's powerful too. So let me tell you an approach. A retweet is very powerful if someone has uh, basically a tweet box or something that's installed on their website that shows their most recent tweets or retweets. Mm -hmm. And then you can kind of transfer over some of that page rank too. It's pretty interesting stuff. Did I lose you? Um, no, I'm still, you, you lost me. Um, it's just not anything I've done before. I understand everything you said conceptually. Um I'm just not a Twitter guy, so uh, but I I can. I, I'm I can not either, to... but I'm learning to be. I you know I'm trying to be better at it. Um, that there's another strategy. Um, uh, just let's just talk about that in the. I can't give it to everyone. I, I'll give it to the members of the offline video domination. So I'll, sure. I'll, let's just chat about it in there. Does that does that work? But of uh, course, ultimately, you literally now have only a few seconds. When I mean by seconds, you only have a little bit of time before um, that bounce occurs. So it's going to give you a great ra uh, ranking. You literally need to have those views there. You literally have to have the likes, subscribes, favorites, comments um, for that to stick a little bit quicker. That's why I'm literally joining or having these different communities uh, launched so we can help each other out and, and keep the, the ranking. Um, that we need. Now, there's a lot of it outside of that. And there's a lot that you can do to help encourage that. Um, but more and more, it's going to really see what's relevant content. If the content's good, um, if it's has a voiceover or video that's in it, that's not, you know, a video slideshow, um, it, it's going to see all that. And if you do everything that I taught you how to do it, David, it, it should stick there. Uh, with a little bit of encouragement um, from the groups and such. So you need to jump right on it. Um, there is some advanced super training that I'm actually going to sell um, that's going to go more in depth on that. Um, and and that will be coming out uh, next month, just to let you know. So, sure. Okay. Sure. Well, I appreciate everything you do. And did, did that, that answer you your question? Though I just wanted to make sure that uh, that answered your question. So um, more that you can get more that you can get that embedded on some great uh, uh, sites out there, picked up in in one way or another. Um, oh, oh, I didn't even tell you. Are you are you using Pinterest at all? Uh, I use Pinterest for my business, but 
Um, it's one of those things, and you know this, and I've said this before, so I apologize for repeating, but I deal with boring businesses that people need but never want. I know, so, but, but pinning it, it, it has some value. And if okay, you can find good. someone that will pin it to different, you know, boards, that's big. Yep. That's big. Okay. That's you you good. get where I'm telling you, right? Sure. Yep. Okay. Great. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. And I look forward to talking to you next week, my friend. Okay. Look forward to your announcement. Thank you. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. We got uh, Linda Warners on here. She says she has audio. Let me just uh, make sure I can get her real quick. Linda, hold on a second. Still got a lot of people on the call, so I have to like scroll and scroll and scroll. Wow. Okay. Okay, Linda, can you hear me? I can, Daryl. How are you doing? Excellent. Thank you so much for this training, and it's You're really uh, a real gift uh, to all of us. Hey, where, um, where, are you, where are you from, Linda? Um, I'm in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Wow, I've always wanted to go there. <laughs> so, well, now you know someone. That's right. Will you, will you take me to a place that I can eat that's like cool food? So, oh, absolutely. No, yeah, no problem. I, I just spent some time with my really good friend that lives in LA, and and I had Lebanese food for the first time, and I think I found my new favorite food. It oh, right. So, so good. Lebanese but, is awesome. It's oh, it awesome. is. It is. But uh, anyway, enough about things that will make me gain weight. Let's go ahead um, and yeah. talk about <laughs> about things that uh, I can help you with. Go ahead. Yeah, well, you, well, you're talking to a foodie, so we could really get in trouble. Yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to be just one of those guys that just you know drinks the shakes and eats the salads, but you know, I'm, yeah, I'm I'm going to try to lose some weight in the next couple of months, but that's neither here nor there. Go ahead. Well, uh, okay, so um, so my question was this, I you know. I, and I just kind of went south, and but this something super important to me. I have like five Gmail, you know, addresses. I have one Google uh, Plus account, but I was not clear about what you said we needed. Um, if let's say you have, you know, multiple niches. So let's say, we, if I heard you correctly, I would have my personal um, Google Plus account, but then I would also have a Google Plus account for each respective business. Is that that um, would be correct? Um, okay. I, I would definitely separate if it's a, if it's its own entity. I would have a different page for it, but you can manage that. You can actually have as many as you want, um, as there as long as it's a different entity, you know. And okay. that enti that entity has its own profile. It can have its own YouTube channel. It it can actually comment on different comments. It can do plus ones. It can likes now. Keep in mind, Google's going to track you if you try to do spammy stuff and try to bypass the system and they'll crank down on it. You don't, you never want the wrath of Google. Trust me, you don't. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah, but, I, but I have my, yeah, I have, I have my but business. But if it's legitimate, yeah. You, if it's legitimate, yeah. yeah. And it can be tied. I mean, that's the, that's the whole thing that would just drive me nuts when I work with local clients, you know, they have their, their, their personal profile that's attached, but yet the entity itself didn't, doesn't have, um, its own, um, entity. I, I want to show you something. I, I, I need to be very careful what I do on online. Um, let me show you something, please. You guys do, don't, don't contact my people. If I show you something, I'm showing you out of the goodness of my heart. And I, you know, I don't need, I don't need people going crazy over this. Okay. Now let me show you something here real quick. Okay. So here's the, the Google plus local. Okay. We have Ryan E. Robison Optometrist, southwestvision.org. We have Southwest Vision, southwestvision.org. We have Paul Gooch, southwestvision.org. We have a video. You might say, Daryl, why don't you have the video above the Google Plus logo? Well, I have three, the only three. There's a lot more optometrists in the town than that. We have the organic. We have the Yelp. I mean, come on, guys. That's, that's like power right there. Now, here's the, the to answer for you, Linda. The reason yeah. why I can do this is because in the terms with, with Google, they're saying, you know what, you can have uh, medical professionals that have their own profile. They've done this for years. Nobody really capitalized on it that they don't understand. And then the business can actually have its own. If you're an attorney, the same thing with the attorneys, you can have multiple listings for it. Okay. You can do some crazy stuff like this now where each of them, you're building their own profile. And so let's say that, you know what, Paul one day decides he wants to go to a different practice. He's not penalized. He's not like hurt on Google's perspective 
because he changed the uh, the, the domain name. Okay, so this. so in that in that case, so let's say Paul Gooch, um, Paul Gooch would have his own Google Plus account, and he would have a Google Plus account for his. He would business. actually have a business page, and he could be a manager of, his, of that page, and okay. that manager could be fired. That manager could be deleted. You know, it, it goes off the admin. He could even be admin and transfer that over to somebody else to be admin. That's the Got cool so, thing about it. So when you say a business page, that doesn't mean a Google Plus account. It just means a business page. Business page on Google Plus. Okay. Got it. Okay. Thank you so much, Daryl. Oh, you're welcome. And and I'm, I mean it. I, I'll probably, um, I, I like to travel a little bit with the family and such. And I've never been to Europe and I've always wanted to go. Um, and so if I, if I do one of those things, I'll definitely have to hit you up and you'll have to tell me where the, you'll have to, I'll take you out to lunch or dinner. You know, yeah. So. Well, no, with, without a question, Daryl. And right. I mean, you just got through a, a road trip. So I think a plane trip to Europe is next to mine, right? I, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm, okay, I'm actually cool. going to try to make it to Australia first, but after Australia, I'll, I'll, I'll hit to, um, Europe. So sounds Thanks. like a plan. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, we got Linda. Um, let's see. Wallace says he doesn't necessarily have um, a mic. So can you suggest a good way or resources to add color or enhance a series of line drawings for an ebook? Wallace, um, could you just uh, make sure you follow me on, on Google Plus and send me that question? I'll answer that. Uh, okay. Evangelos uh, has audio. Let me put him on here. He has a great question. Man, I've got, still got a lot of things. Evangelist, you there? Evangelist, you there? Uh, I think so. Oh, good. How old are you? I'm 14 years old. All right. Awesome. Where are you from? I'm from Greece. Greece. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, I want to ask you something. Yes, uh, go ahead. I'm, I, got, I have Google Plus, so... My same viewers, I have uh, only the same viewers, and I can't send someone else to see my videos on YouTube. Okay, okay. And what what type of channel do you have? What what are you doing? I have a, a gaming channel. Gaming? What what gaming? What are you doing though? What uh, Minecraft? Uh, are you doing first person shooters? What what are you doing? Everything. Everything. everything? I just start, started about. 25 videos. Okay. Here's, here's what I want you to do. I want you to change your strategy and, and, and really understand this. Um, my kids are gamers and they, I have, I have sons that will just watch videos over and over on Minecraft. They want to know all the, they want to watch people play. They want to watch people connect and with, they even do it sometimes with uh, YouTube live. So what I would recommend that you do is pick one game and look to see what's not oversaturated. Look to see what, you know, that there's not a whole bunch of channels on that specific game. And you become the expert and you show them all the tips and techniques and you show them how cool it is. And you create a community where they can do video responses or they can comment or so on. And I promise you this, you will change your subscriber rate because you're actually going to get more subscribers following you because you have a specific theme. I know, but the, uh, many games like Minecraft, there are so many uh, millions of uh, million. Uh, yeah, there's there's tons, but I'm saying I'm saying find a game that there's not millions of, that might be right on the verge. There might be new games that are coming out that Maybe. you know that that people would be looking for. So uh, that's that's what I would do. And then what I also would do is always, always, always comment on every comment that you get, re regardless of what it is. Okay. Um, and I am with you. good, good, good. And I, I would talk about doing the strategies that you're doing here. And hopefully um, it sounds like your English is really well. Um, hopefully you understood everything that I was saying and really create, create that uh, uh, Google plus community. Okay, buddy. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. are welcome. All right, buddy. Bye bye. That's awesome to have a thirteen year old on there. I've I would have I would have literally killed to have what the technology is when I was thirteen. I'm telling you. Okay, Eric C. I'm gonna go ahead and get Eric C down. Give me a second, Eric. 
Um, and I know a lot of you have to go, but I'm going to answer these questions. I mean, you guys were good enough to come on. I want to make sure I, I get to the bulk of the questions here. Um, okay, Eric, you're, you're on. Go ahead. Hi, Daryl. How are you? Can you hear Doing me? Good. Doing good. Where are you calling from? Uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. I love Scottsdale. I actually have a really yeah. good friend down in Gilbert, man. I, yeah. So I'm actually coming down. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I'm coming well, we'll down. We'll have to connect. I'll, I'll have to take you out. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm, my daughter's um, doing some martial arts stuff, and they're having a world tournament down there. So I'll, I'll awesome. be down there uh, next month. Awesome. Awesome. That'll be great. Uh, well, I, I won't, I won't tie, tie you up. I, well, first and foremost, thanks for giving this uh, webinar. Um, and it's, it's definitely been enlightening. I will definitely <laughs> say for sure. But my, my question is, is um, and I think the, the last young lady that uh, spoke, I'm, I'm kind of in that hosh posh as well. I have several Gmail accounts um, and only really one that I ever use, which is a personal one that I've had forever, but I did sign up a Gmail. Uh, I do have a Gmail account for my company that I actually never <laughs> use, but I utilize it because that's the only one I could put my hand on very quickly right. because I think I set up a Google Plus account with that, and it looks like it has my picture and some different followers. Should I try to switch that over to a to my business page and then sign in with my personal account. I'm, I'm kind of confused of how to separate the two without, I don't know, screw without up, breaking guess, everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, Eric, I'm literally going to be launching a video next week on this and okay. it's going to take you step by step through it. I mean, I can give you the answer right now. Sure, what, sure, you, what, what you want to do is um, there's something about age and authority um, with your login. Um, okay. the older that it is, uh, they have more stuff on you and the easier sure, it sure. is to rank. Um, like for my personal account, I never used for any business stuff until January of this year. Um, but I've had that account, um, you know, for a long, long time. Um, I sure. didn't want anybody else to have, you know, my name and, you know, Google, whatever, but yeah. I understand. So, yeah. Me yeah. too. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's something now you can literally now, um, become a manager of your business account and then have all the access and rights to do everything on Google plus and also everything on YouTube. So you don't have to log in. You don't have to uh, log into both accounts. You can just be on your one account and you can just switch your accounts that you actually manage. So oh, kind, of, kind of like Facebook to a certain degree, how you manage pages. Yeah, no, it's exactly like Facebook where you can add different managers and stuff for it. The only thing is, is this actually works a lot better. Um, and it does because I I have tons of Facebook, um, you know, businesses that we manage. It just drives me nuts how that works. But yeah, this <laughs> well, this cool. literally gives you the opportunity to log in, and you don't have to be in the community to actually comment. You can actually comment as the business. So sure, cool. sure, sure. Well, I think I I think I may have followed you with again with my. Um, company's gmail account on yeah give me give me your personal uh, give me your personal because I, I i whenever i go out into the community i love to meet with people um because i mean sure. it's I, I'm, I'm a people person i like to be around people i don't like to look at my computer and pretend i'm talking so to am i <laughs> so shoot me stuff i I'll, I'll definitely hook up when we uh make it down to phoenix uh okay or, now I do that through g plus so, or how do yeah. i yeah do that okay okay so, okay all right thank you all right thank you all right. If Rick's still on the call, I'm gonna get Rick, I'm going to only do a couple more guys. I do apologize. I know there's a ton of questions. I can't get, get them all right now, but we'll kind of go from there. Hey, Rick, how's it going, buddy? Hey, very well. Can you hear me? Yep. Can hear you just fine. Great. Hey, this has been uh, enlightening in so many ways. But, uh, oh, I'm just, sorry. Um, I know where you're from, Rick, but tell everybody where you're from so so they know where all around. Sure. The this is I'm in Tampa, Florida. Yeah. Home of the Rowdies. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the Rowdies, just a, as a flashback, the Rowdies play the Cosmos this weekend uh, here in Tampa. So it's it's That's like awesome. 1979 all over again. That's awesome. But, uh, but, you brought up so many important points in, in that video that you just mentioned uh, with a gentleman right before us. So I think will help clarify many things. But I just uh, finally got a uh, a guy who owns a restaurant slash uh, 
a gastro pub, I think is, is probably a better description. And I've been going there for a while and we've been talking for a while. He finally became a paid client today and got to completely redo basically everything from soup to nuts. So starting with a, a relative clean slate and doing the videos, you know, he would uh, establish the YouTube channel and Facebook marketing and so forth. But Google Plus really before your call wasn't a huge um, uh, priority. Right. So, but uh, it sounds like the 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 type of juice that the combination of Google Plus, say for likes and um, and YouTube and so forth, would be beneficial, particularly on that local example where you were saying, "Hey, where is the best you know uh, English pub, or where can I get X, Y, and Z?" Is am I should one then, particularly for local search, should one be really stressing the 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 G plus versus anything else, or is it in line? I would with... always I, okay. For me, my whole thing is I want maximum exposure for my clients, and G plus is one way to do it. But I'm here to tell you, the more you do now, the better it'll pay off for them down the road, um, because one day they're not going to search the same way we search now. It's starting to really transition with, with just asking questions to your phone and it pulls results and it's going to be skewed off of the people that you connect with. So if, if your good buddy that you, you know, interact with, you email, you do all this other stuff with, um, says it's a great restaurant, it's going to recommend that probably before anything else. You know, or it's going to be based off of other people in your community or in your realm of influence of what they recommend. And it's going to really give a better user experience across the board. And I'm here to tell you, there's going to be so many people that will try to pay catch up and they're going to lose out on a lot of business because they just are not being proactive. So, okay. All right. So it, it has to be uh, on page, off page, you know, Facebook, YouTube, and Google plus all the, the five, if that was five or six, uh, but those are, you know, like the, the, the very important parts of, of any SEO for a local business. And, but you're, you're suggesting that Google plus is certainly right up there with, with any of them. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, I would even put it above everything else. Honestly. Um, I would, I would put a lot more attention into Google plus because I'll be honest with you. I've neglected it over the years, not the last couple, but I've neglected it, uh, uh, for myself personally, until I could see some of the results I was doing for my own clients. And then I'm like, okay, this is interesting. And the more information I get on it, the more interesting it gets of how it really coincides with everything, all, ser all search in general. So, so you, I, you, if you, perhaps you, re you recall, there was also a nonprofit that uh, yes. I'm working with. Is yes. Uh, Mary's is house. That? Yeah, yes. I, I did. And I, I took the summer off. I'm sorry. I, I, oh, no, 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 I, I work no, so I'm, hard. I work so hard and I neglect my kids at times and the summers. Hey, anyone, when that, anyone, anyone that could, uh, could, uh, put together a trip where you're visiting towns literally with the name of your children. <laughs> I, I, that was the most amazing thing I've seen. It was so, so that, fun. That was amazing. But, but what I was suggesting was, is so Google plus would be particularly with circles and Hey, I like, uh, Mary Lee's house. Um, if, if that center of influence is large enough, that's going to percolate even more so. Is that more so? And, and, uh, honestly, they can donate it through uh, YouTube with the nonprofit stuff. So, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a lot more information. I'm just getting back in the saddle to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I've, I've taken a lot of time off and I've been doing a, a, some other personal projects. So, but well, no I'll, problem. Well, this has been, this can we, can we hook up on that in the sense just, Make sure you're part of the community and just PM me on on. Uh... Yeah, I liked uh, based on the email. I I, I I hooked up with your circle. We're circled in some fashion, but okay. uh, the what most everyone is saying. I have so many uh, Google accounts that I have to sort of focus. Uh, start and consolidating. Out. Yeah, start consolidating as much as you can, and and then you can switch the ownership. I'll I'll have a video that show you how to do that. Looking forward but, to that. Thanks so right, much, Daryl. All right, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, I have time. Let's see. I, I can do probably four more questions. There's a lot of questions that are here that are still coming in. 
I need to see an A by it with the question just because I know that you have audio because I'd, I'd prefer just to talk to you because I'm, I'm actually sick of just talking to my screen here. So um, if you got a mic, um, would you mind just putting it in there? Okay, Doc, that's a great question because that's something that I always worry about. So let me find you here. How's it going, Doc? Doing good, Daryl. How are you? Doing wonderful. Where are you calling from today? Uh, right here in uh, Houston. Houston. That's awesome. Houston, man. Texas. I love Houston. That's awesome. Cool. My my type of people are people from Texas, let me tell you. So <laughs> don't mess with Texas. <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 kind of, we're kind of a country on our own, right? <laughs> well, there's more truth to that than <laughs> what people realize. <laughs> you almost have to have your own, you know, uh, you, you, you get your driver's license, but you almost have to have your own uh, certification that you're from Texas to even be allowed to be called a Texan, right? So, yeah. pr pr pretty much, pretty much. But the cool um, thing about it is they do adopt everybody. You know what? If you're in Texas, you know they can pretty much adopt you. So, hey, once you cross the border, you're you're committed. <laughs> yeah, it's hopefully the border of Texas, not the border of Mexico. But yeah, yeah, no, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't I shouldn't talk like that. Okay, no, no, go that's ahead. Cool. So, oh. Daryl, um, the, the the question I have is kind of twofolded. One is the issue of duplicate content. Um, I'm kind of new to all of this stuff. Uh, I have an IT background, but uh, I'm kind of getting into all this marketing. And um, so far, so good. I've been able to uh, produce some videos and get them ranked and so on and so forth. But what I noticed was, like, on a couple of the niches that I've targeted, there's a there's a couple of individuals that have the same video. Um, that they're marketing using, you know, I'll give you an example. Um, there's a guy in Florida, he's doing roofing videos, and he's got like 20 videos, it's the identical video, there's not a single change, there's nothing on the front end, nothing on the back end, literally ditto identical video. He's just got different title and different uh, content in the body of the YouTube uh, profile, you know, for the video. Yep. yep. Now, now my, my, you know, I have a concern of duplicate content, but I know Notice that he ranks quite well, even though he does have duplicate content. But second to that question is, is that I'm I'm wondering if he's getting away with it, and this is this is part of the question that I'm hoping you yeah, can answer. Um, and I'm, I'm wondering if he's getting away with it because of local. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer this because it's something that I that I believe you you can get away with a lot of stuff until you get caught. You can't. <laughs> Isn't that true? But it's one true. day it's gonna catch up with you. And when they catch up with you, they're going to slap you so upside the head that it's going to interrupt your whole life. Now, tell me this, Doc. Tell me, would you want to have all your income immediately be taken away overnight? Absolutely not. Okay. I'm here to yeah, tell that's, you. That's crazy. I'm here to tell you, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket in the sense of doing one specific way of things that would be black hat or be against their, their policies. Because now think about this for a second. They can mask their IP. They can do proxies. They can do all this other stuff. But they're going to start pulling stuff together. If that's tied to a Google Plus local page that's pulled to a specific business, guess what gets banned? Not just on a YouTube video, but banned across the board. The whole thing, right? They they literally go out of business. So you telling me, so let me that that's a smart way to do it? I'm, I know you're not, but I'm just saying... Uh, it's it's going to catch up with them. I see it time and time. You got to realize that they can get away with it. There's a thing called content ID that sees exactly what the videos are. And there's still, um, there's a, a lot of things, but I'm here to tell you, I sat in meetings with the guys that are trying to stop this. And I'm, I'm like literally sitting right next to them. And they're like, Oh, we have something coming up. That's going to, it's going to really disrupt these people that are doing duplicate content videos and it's going to hurt them where they'll never ever ever come back to do it again do it again right in fact i just i just sent you a link to the guy i'm talking about okay and 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 the 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 second fold of that question is is that let me you do know, it what, what i'm flag him I say again it, go flag him real quick and that's like if we had everybody <laughs> on the call flag him he'd be down in two seconds <laughs> And I, honestly, they have a thing if you flag – I mean, I have people flagging me all the time because they want to compete uh -huh. with me, and they can't compete with me the real way, so they'll flag right. me. 
but all right, YouTube understands who I am. He, they understand my channel. They understand because I have everything else. It's just, you know, but yeah, yeah. And you can be quite clear that it's spam. They don't like see, spam. This guy, this, see, this guy is spamming. So, so my, my question is this, because, it, you know, obviously I'm doing local marketing. I've got, uh, I've got a couple of clients in Florida. I've got some clients in Houston. I've got a couple of clients in uh, California. And assume, uh, I, this, is, this is not the case in my case, but I'm, okay, I'm, I'm going to kind of Are these clients just here. video or is it just clients local marketing across the board? It's, it's video. Okay, great. Okay. So, so basically like, for example, if I'm targeting a, let's say for, if I'm, if I'm targeting the roofing niche and I'm targeting a San Diego roofer, a Houston roofer and say a Miami roofer, and if I'm using the same video, but the front end of the video, the introduction and the tail end of the video, which is the offer are different. Is that classified in your opinion as duplicate content? What I mean by the front end and back end is I know, my opening I know. entry to the video yeah. would be different. Yeah. It, okay. It's, it's called an intro outro. Okay, for, for right. those that are on. So you're changing, it might be the first 20 seconds or five seconds or eight seconds of the beginning of the video and the end of the video, but the meat of the video is the same. Let me tell you what I, okay. what I do, and this is what I, what I preach, and I've preached it for years. Do that, but also change your music and maybe change a little bit of the, the middle in the sense you can do, like if it's for lead generation, you could say different words and it, and it is unique content. Okay. Um, and you can change right. the music, which it, it is unique content, and you can even change some of the graphics just subtly or right. even with a new intro outro, and it will be classified as a unique content. So you can't say that it's duplicate content. Um, always, always, always do a different thumbnail for it. And so until okay, they're watching so, the so image, yeah, I, I do I do a thumbnail that actually says the, the key term with something that, that pulls them in and yeah. So, so see what what I, what I've what I've been doing is like the 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 opening intro, which is like for example, let's say um, San Diego roofing. It would be like you know um, a San Diego roofing keyword kind of intro. Then the main video, and then the outro would be a promotional offer, like twenty percent off or whatever. And the way I'm the way I'm keeping it unique, and I, I and you've kind of confirmed it now, but the way I've been keeping it unique is what I do is I kind of do my own voiceover, so it's my voice, and it, it has the word San Diego roofing in there, which is different to Houston roofing. Or Miami roofing, and so to me that was I I believe that was sufficient. But yeah, that, and that do, was kind of primarily the question which you kind of answered. What, what would you would you do another thing for me when you say San Diego roofing? Say you know San Diego roofing with uh, availability to service La Jolla and all the you know you can start naming the, the other towns right. That that will help it so it solidifies because the last thing last thing that you want to do is look spammy and right. I, because the content can be really good and people will want it in the, the area locally, w what they're looking for. But just to be safe, I would definitely, 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 um, you know, uh, change it up. Like we talked about. Perfect. Perfect. All, All right. right excellent. Well, that answers my question. You're, you're, a, you're a YouTube superhero in my eyes. Oh, good. Oh, I hope to be a other superhero because you actually <laughs> videos only, you know, one component of what I do for it, like those that really right. know me. Um, right. It's only a small portion of what I do, but I, I, I actually have the most fun with it. I actually always smile when I talk about it, except for when I get frustrated, but you know how that goes, doc, right? I know how that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friend. Sounds cool. good. Thank I appreciate so it. Much. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, uh, two more. David O'Neill, let me see if I can find you if you're still on. David, 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 David. There we are. Hello, David. How's it going, my friend? Uh, very good. So I know where you're from, but why don't you just kind of tell everybody else where you're from? I am you're from around. Broadheadsville, Pennsylvania, which is northeastern Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. So just how can south, I help you? Just a little south of New York, actually. Well, the, the question I had is... Um, I'm really glad to understand a little bit better about uh, the page business. And I noticed something the other day that sort of told me that it was sort of going on because YouTube was trying to tell me, oh, you can connect your YouTube channel to your business page. Yeah. Because I have a business page under my Google Plus account. Um, but here's the deal. I, I'm thinking that I want to actually create a whole, either by vertical or by product, let's say service type, that I should be creating some pages in in Google for those things, would that be the way to do this? Yeah. Let's say that I wanted to focus on, you know, say reputation management, 
or reputation management, let's say, for you know surgeons or something. Should I create a special page for that and then no, put a video no, for no. That? Um, what I what I would do now is just reputation management, and then you can have different playlists in your YouTube channel that deal with the other types of you know for surgeons, attorneys, whatever it is. For the verticals, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how I do it, and you know they've changed a little bit here or there. You know, before I always said, hey, make sure you have a separate channel for you know certain geographic areas. Um, I, I don't say that anymore. Um, I think you should just have one channel and then uh, make different pages and other channels that you can kind of interlink to build your own network and community. And so, right. but just make sure you don't have duplicate content on it. They'll track that definitely. Yeah. Well, what you were just saying, um, I, I already do with the intros, outros Perfect. and adding the, you know, layering the music. What I hadn't thought of is that with, like with Camtasia, I can add, you know, graphic annotations to the, that That's changes PLR that yeah doing. when you're uploading that content that totally changes everything when they encode it because they they pull that's how where they do their content ideas when you upload it like literally right. try to upload it with um like a, a an mbc you know how the little icons in the lower part of the video of uh, the tv yeah upload that see what happens <laughs> don't do it on your own personal channel though <laughs> It, it it literally it will flag it just based off of that. Not anything that's said or anything else like that. It just notices that has that copyright on it. So oh sure sure yeah. But I, but you don't see any problem with no you know, no. With, I think you're, PLR, you're as long as you've layered over the PLR pretty well. Yep, it should work well. Yep yep. I would agree. I would agree. So oh. cool. you're you are a good human. How, how's oh, that? Isn't that I a like better that. better way to say that? Yeah, well, can you tell my Not mom that? Good at your video, or you're good at, you're good at this or that. You're a good human being. <laughs> you can tell my mom that because sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you when gave I was growing up, up, I was one of those kids that she's like. Well, yeah, you I hope gave he up fishing with dynamite, something. so that's a good thing. Well, that that's true. That well, you got to realize, I was one of those really crazy kids. We have like this bridge that's between the two towns. It's like two hundred and seventy-eight feet. I used to jump off that thing oh, all wow. the time with, 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 with the rope, of course. But, um, and there was one time I, I was 16 and I waited till the school bus is driving by and I just kind of did the little <laughs> salute, you know, and I just flipped off and people thought I committed suicide because <laughs> that's like the suicide bridge. Right. Oh, sure. So they called my mom, the police yeah, came, man. you know, it was all freaking yeah. out. And yeah, let's just put it this way. My mom, was just hoping that I would survive long enough to actually contribute to the world because <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna, doing it as a kid. So I have to make up for job, it. Man. Now, so, but yeah. But, oh, anyway. All right. Thanks my friend. Thanks. All right. For sure. On. Talk to you later. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Got time for one more. Um, let's see here. Anthony, let me get you on here. Anthony, if you're still on the call, looks like we have a couple Anthony's. Uh, Fragasso, yeah, put you on. Anthony, yeah, can you hear me? You there? Yeah, okay, yeah. Yep, I can hear you. Good, man. Hey, thanks for uh, putting this webinar together. Hey, cool. not a problem, buddy. Good info. Where are you calling um, from? So, I'm from uh, Palos Verdes, California. That's the southernmost tip of Los Angeles. Okay, uh, I was just down there not too long ago. I drove through your town uh, not too long ago. So, actually, cool. last week. The traffic there's horrendous, man. I, I, I'm a small town Utah kid, you know, and, and, uh, I was going to meet with my friend in, um, in Beverly Hills area, you know, we were going to go eat and he's like, Oh no, you want to come about eight o'clock. Cause if you leave at the time that you're leaving, um, you won't get here until about eight o'clock cause of the traffic and I'm like, ah, yeah, whatever. So I left yep. a little bit early and sure enough, I was going like two miles an hour, dude, <laughs> along with everybody else. <laughs> Yeah, that's the way it goes down here. You pretty much need a helicopter to get around. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. What anyway? Anyway, that's not. How can I help you? So, so um, questions about um, uh, Google Plus SEO strategy. Would there be any drawback to to creating more than one um, business page for a single business? Um, I wouldn't do it uh, personally, um, unless they had different divisions within that business. Let me give you an example of that is um, I'm just getting a new client. It's a, a huge hospital and they have different divisions within the hospital itself and each of it has its own content. And so I would definitely create a different Google plus page and a YouTube channel for it. 
unless they weren't producing enough content that it wouldn't bring value to the people that are subscribing um, and communicating with that, then I would just do it on one page. So you really need to, to keep in mind if the business is big enough that you have multiple people putting information or if it's just you, I'd be really hesitant to um, have multiple things unless they have other divisions. So, Got it. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for the info. All right, my friend. Thank you so much. And thanks for coming on. Okay, everybody. Um, just one other quick note. Um, look in the chat box. Uh, join in the community. That's where the replay is going to be. I will have it as well. It'll be really interesting sending out an email with people that are not um, on Google Plus of how they can get the replay. So there's a lot of people that want the replay. So I'm going to probably have a lot of unhappy people, but definitely get a part of the community and uh, you know go from there. And I will post it there. And then also just uh, to reiterate, um, a week from today, I have a huge announcement coming up and it's something that I've been working on for a very long time. I'm really excited about it. Can't wait to share it with you. Thanks so much. This has been Daryl Eves. Please uh, check out my channel at youtube.com forward slash Daryl Eves or you can go to DarylEves.com. Thank you and have a great day.